So this is the first particles exercise we come across in the last one. So we successfully create a number of the square particle emitted from the center of a sphere. So the next step is we try to do two things. The first thing is we can add a little bit of variation within the particle system right here. And the second thing is we try to modify the appearance of each of the particles. And the first thing when we go inside the geometry and we locate the particles objects, we can have a look, for example, there's some indication about forces. So those are the general forces you can apply to some or the particles or the whole particle system. And in the later section, we will further work out with other more specific type of force we use to control the appearance of your particle system. In this case, for example, you come across with this selection, the external force, wind turbulence. And we can, for example, play around with some of the turbulence in order to add a few sense of randomness into the emission. For example, we can change it to some small number right here. And within the state, you can of course try to reset it in order to see the effect with the new set of particle coming out from the center. And when we go back to the project, you can see the particles no longer come in one single straight line. It will move in some sort of irregular form. So the next step is we try to take care of this pond sprite. And this is used as a material to color and also to, to manipulate the shape of the particle. We will make some further change to this one. So the first one you can try to work around is, is color. So once you select the pond sprite material objects, you can say choose some of the other color. And the next step is we try to modify the shape of the particles because in a lot of cases we, when we talk about particle system. So few of the particles will appear as a square shape. So most of them will be something like a circular shape. shape. So we'll make use of some objects in 2D in order to transform it into a circular shape. So what we are going to do is to make use of a texture operator TOP. And this one is called the ramp. So the ramp is actually a gradual change in color. So the gradual change can be linear, like this one, or horizontal, also linear. And the one we are going to use is this circular, like this one. And we'll try to modify this shape, and then we apply this shape to the pond sprite material in order to create a circular form of the particles. So what we would like to do is we determine the variation of the color or the gradual change of the color. So first of all, we come with, for example, this is the center of the screen right here. And we can change the color into completely white. And we also change the alpha to absolute one. So that means it's totally opaque at this point. And for the other end, which is the edge, the peripheral of the of the shape, so we will still stay with the value one, but we move the alpha towards zero. So in that case, the outer area will be transparent. So between the center and the outer area, we have the gradual change in the alpha value. And then we'll modify it a little bit of the period in order to say like this one. 
to have something totally opaque in the center, and the other one on the edge will be totally transparent. We can also enhance it by putting in a number of other anchor points. So we put in one more of them, and this one we also push it to the one, and the other one we push to the other direction to make it a zero. And then we modify the period again such that we have a better control of the appearance of this transparency. So once we have finished the transparency, we click in the point sprite again and then we drag this one as a color map into the point sprite material. So what once we drag it, so the alpha channel effect will be applied to this color and the color will be rendered on top of your particles like this one and actually we can see that it's still a kind of square shape or rectangular shape even though in the center it is a circular block so what we are going to do is to make a little bit of the enhancement by changing some other parameter in the point sprite material. So once we click on the point sprite, we move back to the common and then we check the branding, the alpha branding, and then we uncheck the depth test such that they can merge easily together. So the result will be something like this one. So we have the irregular movement of your particles and the particle will now become a circular form and they can blend easily together with others. So this is the second part of the particle exercise we create in this way. We will give you some sort of irregular movement of the particles. And in the next section, what we are going to do is to apply some other force in different directions such that we can create a more visually engaging experience.